Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the garage. Today, Myra's getting her first home oil change. So what we're using for the oil change, obviously, oil pan. Got a small screwdriver for pushing out the push pins, little hook to palm out. I've got a four, a five, and a six millimeter. Some foil. Obviously a Yama filter and five quarts of Yama Lube 10W40. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, so first things first, locate everything we need. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Those are four millimeters that have to come off to pull this section off. But you also have one, two, three. I thought there was four, but no, oh, yep, four is right in there. Four push pins, four four millimeters. Pull this side panel off. Once it's off, we can get to the oil filter. All right, so now that we've designated everything that needs to come off, what we're going to go ahead and do is start the bike up for a second to get the oil nice and a little warm. That way it flows a little freer. everybody now that she's all warmed up we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take our six millimeter and loosen the drain plug kind of hard to do one-handed so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and loosen it start it draining and I'll be back with you when it's draining stand by all right we got it all loosened up now get it out of there bingo sorry for the finger in the camera all right, she's draining. We'll get everything wiped off and be back with you in a second. All right, everybody, you can see she's draining pretty good. So now what we're gonna do while she finishes, is we're gonna go ahead and get to taking these fairings off. Well, fairings, I mean fairing, just the one. And uh, we'll hit the one, two, three, four up there and the four push pins up front. I'll have uh, my assistant hold the camera while I do it. I'm the assistant. Assistant. Remember these are auto capture, so they don't come out all the way. Except for that one apparently. Make me look a fool. So there's those four. We'll just apparently take them out. Alright, now for the push pins up front. We want to turn the bars slightly, get a better angle on them. You can come around this other side if you want. It's going to be hard to see. We have yeah. one here, and then the three up there that I already showed. So we're just going to push the centers of all of them in. And then I will use the hook tool to help me grab and pull them out. All right. Don't drop them. Great time to clean the inside of your fairings. Great time. You see what we'll do is we'll take off the heat shield right here as well for the exhaust so we can get to the filter all the way. Go. Taking the exhaust one off is where the five millimeter comes in. Go ahead and break those free. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. We can push the oil pan over a little bit just in case I have slippery fingers. These are full bolts. Not your quarter twist locks. Hold that for me. Never mind. I'm holding the phone. 
Guess you need another assistant. Yeah. Nice try. Nice try. I just don't want this thing to drop. Move. There we go. All right, there we go. Boom. Word of warning. Don't set this face down. This is actual metal. You don't want to get it all scratched up. All right, so what we're going to do is wait for this to drip a little bit more, and then we will get to the oil filter, and I'll show you why we have the aluminum foil. Stand by. Hands weren't working, and obviously the car one is way too big. Napa. Wait, do you go to Napa? O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's oh, to oh, the rescue. Oh, O'Reilly's. This one is a uh, two to three and a quarter inch from China. <laughs> Hear the dogs in the backyard. They want out. So we'll give this thing a loosen. All right. Remember, foil for a reason. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Fingers. Well, I can't move my fingers crazy. Waterfall. Bam. Mm, nice. Good job. I'll sit that on the piece of tin paper, so. And we will let this journey be back with you on us back. Alright, everybody. So this is almost done. Always a good practice is you're going to lube up the ring and I always put a little in there while this is almost done and I spin it a little bit just to get it on the fins on the inside. So we'll pour just a smidgen in there, dip my finger in there, put a nail ring, wipe it off my finger and then while that's finalizing its drain I'll just spin this a little bit. The oil on the oil ring helps seal it. Alrighty, so we'll put this back on. It's only going hand tight for now. Tighten it up in a second. I'm gonna clear all this stuff out of here. Dirty foil, a nice little bed for itself. Alrighty, so for the 2015 R1, manual and Yamaha says 4.33 quarts of oil. However, if you're a YouTube, or not YouTube, but a forum jockey, you'll notice that some guys are doing just straight four, uh, slightly under four. All that matters is that window. Make sure that your oil levels, once you're full, warmed up, uh, right at around the block, needs to be sitting in between the two lines. That's standard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up. We'll go around to the other side and we'll start putting the oil in. See you in a second. All right, everybody, we're back. I'm gonna start with the one gallon, four quarts, Yama Lube. Now, if you're like me and you can't find your um, I'm losing my words. Oil filter filter? It's not a filter. <laughs> or funnel. funnel. <laughs> if you can't find the funnel in your garage, you have permission from me to uh, commandeer this from your wife's kitchen. If you have a wife, tell her it's, uh, I said you could. Hate mail, you can go ahead and send that to P.O. Box 1934, Sandy, Oregon, 97055. You can address it to me. So we'll go ahead and start filling this up. I'm going to take the entire gallon. I did not give him permission. Uh, I did it when she was gone.
All right. Grab my rag so I don't trip on anything. And there is four. We will go check the window. See where it's sitting. We are right there. Of course, we are on the paddock stand. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put the cap on it, lower it from the paddock stand, and we will start her up to get some oil in there and see where it sits. Be back. All right, everybody. All the levels are good, so now it's time to just go in reverse. I'm going to put the push pins in first, put the quarter inch uh, turn screws on with the fairings, and she'll be done. If you like it, click like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps us out. Um, don't forget facebook.com slash ride two over four. You can send us a message and you can get some custom vinyls made. The uh, page also shows all the colors we have available. See you next time.